Hello Scorpio, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Let's see what we have in store for you for in love. This is sort of a you versus them reading. We're going to look at your energy. We're going to look at your person's energy. And then we are going to see what the outcome is for the two of you this week. So we have the Queen of Swords energy. Both of you are in this very strong Libra energy. Uh, very balanced, very optimistic, but very much focused on the fact that you want a serious, committed relationship. Queen of Swords is Libra energy in particular, and that rules the seventh house of marriage and partnership. So your energy coming in this week is very, it's Virgo energy. It's being very slow moving, very steady, very reliable, day in, day out, being consistent. I like Virgo energy. I think it's it what's it's what makes the world go round. Virgo is a problem solver of the zodiac. So in love it means you're taking a very practical approach, very measured. You're not going over the top or doing anything unusual. You do have the King of Swords energy. That's Aquarius energy. A very kind hearted, very intelligent viewpoint of everything everything, looking at things from a higher perspective, remaining detached, calm, cool, collected, so that you can really just stay very grounded as you approach this love relationship and love interest. Ace of Wands, there you go, Scorpio. There's Mars energy coming in. You are, you are also ruled by uh, fire sign energy of Mars in particular, like Aries. Ace of Wands, passionate, playful, sexy, having some fun, but, you know, just being kind of quiet, but really enjoying the conversation that you have with someone, really uh, enjoying the intellectual connection, the grounded, earthy sensuality of the relationship is very attractive to you. Your person's energy is, oh, I like this, King of Pentacles energy. King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. So Scorpio, that's your natural partner for Scorpio Risings on the seventh house. That person is a person who's very reliable. They do very well for themselves. I, I feel as though money is a bit, very big focus in their lives. Their security, you're very well matched with Virgo and Taurus energy. This person's very reliable. They're all about having the good life. They're very much focused on being very balanced with their money, but we see a lot of success here. We see a stag energy, masculine energy that has worked hard and long for what they have. They're very serious about life. Um, you know, Taurus is very sensual, very sexual. They love very deeply. They don't give up easily. And once they're committed to a relationship, they tend to be very, very much in it to win it. Uh, there's not, they know exactly what they want. They want you. So we get the energy also of the Three of Wands. There you are. They see you as their person. That's when your ships have come in. You know, we see this person looking out at the harbor, looking at the ocean. You know, it's like putting your hand over your eyes in the summertime. They see you as potentially the one. They're waiting for this relationship to unfold. Again, Aries energy with excitement, enthusiasm, even making plans. They could be planning a trip to faraway places that you know in which you might join them we have the fool card so it does look as though this relationship is a new beginning um, it does it could be a brand new relationship or it could be the restart of uh, a relationship that's been going on for a while but your person really wants to have new adventures with you now what's interesting about this is that they're very aware that in every opportunity there lies the seeds of trouble. And so they see on the surface that you're very attractive. What they're looking for is to see if there's any neath, anything beneath the surface that could that they would find problematic. Right now, they're sort of choosing to be very blissful, just enjoying the moment. This is a person who's very successful. They trust themselves to make good decisions. They trust that life works like this, that you don't always see what people are like on the surface, but you know, that's the way life is. We usually don't, we shouldn't, and they trust themselves to make the right moves if they were to find out something that they didn't like. 
the person is very excited about this new opportunity. Let's see what Spirit is saying about this relationship, the overall energy of it. Let's see what Spirit, and Spirit, give us clear messages for our Scorpio friends. Transformation, Butterfly Spirit, both of you or one of you may be going through a deep transformation in your life. Scorpio, that's your energy. That is definitely your energy. This relationship is very transformative for both of you is how I'm seeing it. Both of you may have been married and divorced. You know, the people that watch my videos tend to be, um, I think the age range that YouTube told me is 35 to 45. So it's very possible you could be betwixt in between, but many of you would have had a marriage or a very significant relationship. Standing stones, a passage, okay. So this is a very significant relationship for you. This is a passage, a life passage. You know, life passages are those significant events in our life that uh, we mark with great memories, celebrations. So it does look like both of you are on the same page. Energy, wow, look at that. There is a very fiery, exciting energy exchange going on between the two of you. But, you know, you're both very mature. You're both very grounded. You're both very successful people. You know how to manage a new love relationship. And you're having fun. You're enjoying this energy. So let's see what the outcome is before we clarify the cards for you. We have the Ten of Wands. Both of you are in the energy at this time of just not wanting to be in a situation that's burdened. It's giving up any burdens from the past that you've been carrying, any unreasonable. Uh, you might be working a lot. You might decide to work less. But the outcome says that there is something here about the relationship that has to change. The Tower card is... Aries energy. It could be an argument or a disagreement. It it there is we're gonna really dig into this for you so you can see because this is quite a lovely relationship. So let's see what else. What give us one more outcome card, please. High priestess. Okay. So it does look as though there could be some sort of disagreement at this time in the relationship that could show an instability or something hidden that neither of you have seen. Now, as we get to know each other, it's natural to be surprised. Sometimes, you know, we find out something about someone and, you know, it creates a whole different perspective. So let's go ahead and look at the energy here. So the Queen of Swords, tell us about the Judge Judy energy. Uh, both of you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and you'll settle for nothing less. Tell us about this energy for our Scorpio friends, please, Spirit. We have the energy of Three of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting here is there may be a situation in which there's a third-party situation or that somebody is, in the, is separated. There's something to do with a commitment to someone else here. Now, Scorpio, it looks like you're single. It would be more likely that your person might be married, but I'm not going to really say that. I mean, the Three of Swords can be separation. It can be heartbreak due to the fact that you can't see each other. It could be other, it can be work. It could be taking care of parents, children. It can be distance. It can be anything. So... What is this Three of Swords energy about? Five of Wands competition. So what I'm seeing right now is that you are not dating exclusively. And that's what I think could be hidden here. So your person sees you as the one. They may see you. It, you know, it could, it could be either one of you. It could be both of you still having dating profiles up, even if you're not dating temperance card. Both of you want to take care of this. You both want to exclusively choose one another, but it does look as though a dating profile was discovered and or some situation that makes both of you feel insecure. You don't like to be insecure. Neither of you are really going to put up with that energy. So a change has to take place. So I do get the lightning bolts here when I look at this energy. You know, we see that sort of lightning that tends to come down around the tire, the tower card. There is a rainbow in the background, though. Okay, so tell us something more about this. Hierophant. Okay. 
Part of what I'm seeing here is there might be a very abrupt situation in which there's difficulty in a marriage because Herophant is a traditional marriage, competition. Somebody may have started the divorce process and may feel really guilty about it here. And that they may come in and they may say, look it, I need to go back and try to fix this so that I can have a free path forward to come together with you, can be either of you saying this, uh, without any guilt. I need to really make a final conclusion about whether a past relationship, a marriage that I've been in, that in which I've been separated from, can be made whole or solid. And I think that's really natural. I think that it happens almost always that one person wants a divorce, the other doesn't. You know, it looks like somebody's being called back in to try to give it one last go. So that looks as though it brings about a really heavy burden. I think that you choose to go silent at this time. I feel as though there's going to be, a, there's a very honorable level of love between the two of you. And both of you want to do this the right way. Why is Virgo energy here? Ten of coins, there you go. You want a legacy marriage. Now, it does show that you could already be married, but the energy towards your person is you want to build a life with them. You want a future with them. And when we get that Scorpio energy of the butterfly, it does speak to transformation. The Eight of Swords says right now you're going to put a lid on it, self-imposed uh, discretion. You're going to honor you know it's painful you don't like it but the eight of coins okay so you're really willing to work on this with somebody you're willing to say you know what you've been honest you've been straightforward oops maybe not <laughs> the ten of swords so we're getting here though that that you feel like this could be over and it could ten of wands ten of swords does mean it could be over uh you may be the one who is calling yourself back into trying to heal a relationship, a marriage. But one of you is in that energy and the other, both of you are feeling very devastated by this. Ten of Wands is a very heavy energy. We get the Seven of Coins, you're both still invested in each other. You both care about each other. It's a card of patience, goodwill. Taurus energy, both of you really still wanting to hang on to each other. Son of Swords is the Knight of Swords, somebody coming in rapidly with an unexpected truth with that Tower card. Could be you, Scorpio, giving the news or receiving it. What else do we have? Star card. So you feel really spiritually attuned with this person. You have some compassion. The person you know may be someone who's famous or very well known, but you have a, a deep understanding of their desire to do the right thing. So even though you find it really painful or you're delivering that news, um, it is a very strong spiritual crossroads. It's sort of like going backwards and having to make a new set of decisions, either confirming this separation and making it permanent or, you know, or really going forward and choosing each other yet again. The Ace of Wands, Judgment card, letting go, releasing. So I'm seeing Scorpio that it's this is your energy too. Scorpio, you are looking at the situation knowing that there's no good karma that would be had if you held back or if you tried to change the situation. It can be the judgment of divorce, the justice and judgment. Oh my gosh. So, you know, it speaks to the fact that um, that you really want to do this the right way. You want to have good karma out of the situation. Justice is doing things in a fair and balanced way. So again, it does look like for most of you, this involves a marital partnership or situation. Okay, so for your person, we get the Father of Wands, Leo Energy, somebody who's very, very hot, very passionate, very worked up, uh, very much feeling sad and lonely. We get the Tower Reverse. So I feel as though, Scorpio, this is your person. 
you know, but again, it can be vice versa. We also get the moon card reversed and the tower card reversed. So your person is not finding this shocking. You know, they feel very sad. They feel very much, very, a lot of passion towards you. They're expressing that they're not holding back on their emotions. They have clarity, but they don't know if the relationship will survive this challenge. And the tower card is reversed. So they clearly don't want your relationship to come apart. They know that it can. When we see the energy of the three of coins reversed, I think the two of you may work together, collaborate together. You're still on very stable footing with each other. It looks like a very respectful situation that both of you are acknowledging what the truth is and you're trying to move forward into a future in a reliable way. So let's look and see what the three of wands is doing here. Ace of Coins, okay. So your person makes an offer. That can be a ring, but it is all, it's your person making an offer of substance to you. And I feel like that's a promise. I feel like your person is promising you that if you're the one who has to go through this, this that they'll be there waiting for you. I get the Hermit card. They're not going to interact with anybody else. I get there like basically saying, I'm burning the midnight oil for you. I'm waiting for you. I'm thinking about you, even if I can't see you. And the Emperor card, lovely. Having the authority, taking their power. They feel very empowered. Uh, we have Aries energy here twice. So your person looks like they're, you know, they're accepting this situation. Uh, and they're willing to stand by you. They're willing to, they understand what's going on. I do think because you're at a crossroads and they've chosen you, I think it's more likely to be you that's in this awkward situation. The Daughter of Cups is a page of cups. You know, your person really tells you that they care about you. Uh, they they give you a sweet offer. They say very sweet, kind, loving things to you. They're encouraging you to go sort of slay the dragon that's down here. Um, the lover's card, they do see you as a soulmate. So your person looks like they're very much about, you know, wanting this to work out, being supportive, trying to understand. They do understand. They really do. The Ten of Wands, what's the burden here that we see? Son of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, slow moving. Okay, again, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, book ending this reading. So we're really seeing that the two of you are just taking everything a day at a time. Um, the strength card speaks to the fact that your relationship, Leo energy, very strong, very passionate, very romantic, very sexy. You have the strength and the courage to let go of the burdens, you know, recognize that this will be a slow moving process. The seven of swords, I still think that you will speak. I don't think that the two of you are willing to set the relationship and communication aside entirely. Again, you're both choosing each other. So why is a tower card here? The Daughter of Wands, okay. So the Page of Wands is the energy of still being very excited about each other, still wanting to throw caution to the winds. It is a toxic situation that both of you recognize. The Six of Swords, you both know that to move forward, you have to go through, not around this obstacle. So this is a part of, you both see this as part of a healing journey. There's a crisis. Ten of Wands, there can't be a burden in your relationship. You both want a clean slate. You both want to come in without any burdens. You're both being, you know, you're both being very mature, very willing to face the challenges here. The High Priestess Energy says that both of you are being very silent about the fact that you want to be happily ever after and married to each other. It speaks to the fact Pisces love. Both of those are Pisces cards as well as Cancerian energy. You're both going to nurture this relationship. You're going to be very much on the down low. You're going to be very quiet about it. Uh, you're both working to come into singlehood so that you can come together as a couple. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Scorpio. Thanks so much for joining me. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Tell me where you're from. I answer comments. Uh, send some love back. Thank you. Bye-bye.